right, she was seven. Okay, so I have another video for y'all today. And this video is going to be about how to identify alpha males, beta males, and how to know if you're a alpha female or a beta female. Now, it gets tricky because some of these characteristics are not going to fit you totally, but, you know, for the most part. Also, a lot of people take on qualities of both, but you have to sort of weigh which one has the most qualities and then that's what you put them in. Okay, so let's start off by identifying the alpha male. The alpha male would be the leader. He would he would be the guy in the group that everyone looks to. He would be successful. He would have his life in order. He would only expect the best, use the best, you know, products. He would be the the guy who works out in the gym, who wants to look good, has a, a career, um, you know, just the guy that everyone wants to be, the popular guy, he has, he's witty, he has good conversation, he uh, is a, a natural leader, he doesn't make excuses for anything, he expects things, he has high standards, and he um, only hangs around other alpha males, okay? Now this, this is probably the type of guy who owns a business, who is like a CEO, who can take care of business okay and these type of men prefer beta females which are submissive feminine easygoing um you know just looks up to them lets them lead doesn't have a problem staying at home being a wife um doesn't have a problem with playing a traditional role because he believes that the male leads and the female follows okay and when I say submissive and follow I mean when you're with an alpha male you feel secure that you're taken care of you know that he's out there to handle in business and that he's gonna bring home the bacon and you don't have to worry about excuses for why he failed because he's not gonna fail okay that's alpha fem that's alpha male and they prefer beta females okay now they can work with an alpha female if she tones it down a notch, okay? And alpha females are the women who are in control, independent, you know, uh, I can do anything. Um, they, t they take action more than they talk. They like results. They are the girl you see in a group of girls who all the girls look to. You know, as an example, um, she has everything. He, she has her life together. She has priorities in order, and she's successful. Or she's, um, you know, she knows what she wants and how to get it. So basically, she's like, you know, in Mean Girl, she would be like, <laughs> what's her name? Forgot her name, but yeah. So she would be like the leader of the pack. Now, beta females are like the ones who you know don't really challenge people they just you know oh okay that's nice you know let me fix your dinner oh are you okay you know this is the kind of women most men like okay uh beta males beta males make excuses they feel like failures they have insecurities they um they probably were picked on as you know a child they probably um are eager to please they're probably needy they're probably um you know they don't fight back they don't stand up for themselves and they just you know try to make excuses for why their life is the way it is uh, usually you know um they don't really have the qualities that are considered masculine because they'll they're kind of like they'll do whatever you tell them to do because they fear losing you they will you know do whatever you say you don't there's no compromises so it's okay whatever you want and they're just basically pushovers doormats and a lot of women 
who are alpha females like beta males because they can boss them around. They can tell them what to do and this, 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 and that. But the thing that happens is sometimes the alpha female gets tired of the beta male and because all they do is make excuses and they're not a challenge to them and it's just, it gets boring. So a lot of times they'll cheat or they'll leave the, the beta male. Okay, now a beta male and a beta female, if they get together, you know, it's it, it might last longer, but the beta female will not feel secure. You know, but she will probably go out and work to, to take care of her man because, you know, that's what morals say that you should do. And it's the right thing. And I love him and he loves me. And I know money isn't everything. And we're just going to be together because love is the most important thing in the world. Those two are like beta male and beta female. They just accept what life gives them. They struggle and they... You know, they, they try to make it, they will make it, they somehow make it, but they struggle and they, they put emotion and love above logic and, you know, tangible assets and stuff like that. So you have to kind of decide what type of life partner and, you know, lifestyle you want according to if you're going to choose an alpha male or a beta male or a beta female or an alpha female. Now two alphas together, they're going to be like a power couple. That's what I call a power couple. But the woman is going to have to let the man be the, you know, the king of the jungle. You know, she's going to be the queen, but she's going to have to let him be the king is what I'm saying. So just think of like uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Let's just use them as an example. Or Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. Now we know that they're both alphas, okay? But in order to make a harmonious relationship, she has to let the man lead. And as an alpha female, she knows what, how important it is for an alpha to be able to lead. So being feminine... And a woman still, she can kind of, you know, turn it down a notch in order to let her man look, you know, like this. But she still has her alpha qualities when she's around other people. She's still, you know, you know, a queen, an alpha female. But when she's in the presence of her man, she's like, okay, you, you're taking the show. I'm your queen. You're my king or we're the same, but I'm going to let you have this because you're the more masculine and, you know, this is what makes you feel good. And since I love you, I'm going to let you shine for now. Okay. But when I get out over here, I'm shining too. And the alpha male will also recognize this in the alpha female and he will let her shine, you know, sometimes as well, you know, and it's not going to affect his ego because she lets him shine when it's his time. So that being said, a lot of like a lot of guys will um, call the beta female, uh, the beta males simps. But the thing is how they're explaining beta males are not um, <clears throat> simps, you know, they they say a man who can take care of his family and who's successful and has money is a beta male. That doesn't make sense. OK, that sounds like a leader to me. That sounds like someone who has their priorities in order to me. That sounds like someone who has, you know, successful leadership so i don't know why they keep saying the they are beta males because they're not just because um they are married to someone who uh they don't require them to work that makes them more of an alpha male because they can handle their business and they don't need a woman to contribute because they can handle it because they're alpha okay now a lot of those guys are actually beta males who are upset and making excuses and they actually wish that they could be alpha males but they just can't so they made up the name simp for alpha males who handle business to make themselves feel okay you know they might uh, take on a little bit of the persona of an alpha male but they don't have they can't back it up 
you know, they don't have the numbers and the accounts. They don't have the leadership. They don't have the resume. They don't have the woman who will, you know, feel safe and secure with them. They don't have any of that. So to me, when they claim to be alpha males, you can't listen to what they say because beta males talk more than they act. So you have to look, you have to see what they have. You have to see, how, um, you know, how they lead, how they can handle business, how they can do this, this, and that. Because a lot of beta males will talk, talk a good game and say they're alpha, but if they don't have the funds to back it up, if they don't have the career to back it up, if they can't make a woman feel secure and safe to back it up, then they're really just alpha uh, male wannabes. They are beta males making excuses as to why they are where they are. Where they are. So y'all can't let these guys confuse y'all just because they know some term alpha male or beta male. They don't really understand that <laughs> alpha males don't talk about alpha males. They don't have to. They don't have to talk about beta males or alpha males because they're too busy grinding and doing what they need to do to take care of what they need to take care of. You know, they don't even need to be, they don't even need their ego stroke to be put in the category, you know. But a lot of beta males will strive to be alpha males. They will strive to be, you know. And a lot of alpha females will strive to be beta females because it's easier to get an alpha fe an alpha male as a beta female. So you see, if y'all are confused, basically a beta female is just, you know, the feminine, over nice, oh, I'm gonna do this for you and that for you. The alpha female is like, I'm gonna tell you what to do. It's gonna be my way or the highway. Don't you know how lucky you are to be with me? Da, 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 da. And they will get with the beta male and they will be disappointed but they'll like controlling him for a while. And then when they get bored of him, they'll just throw him out. But not to be confused with a nice gentleman alpha male, because that's what they truly are. You know, they know how to treat women. They don't, they would never ask a woman, especially a beta female to pay for their own dinner. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to clear that up for y'all and let y'all know those differences and if you have any questions put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them and also you can also go and Google alpha female beta female alpha male and beta male and read their characteristics and then you'll know and you'll understand you know why a lot of these beta males want to be alpha males and claim to be alpha males because they have an insecurity and they have excuses for everything. And they talk more than they act. They talk more than they do. And this is one of the signs of a beta male. So you gotta, you gotta be smart. You gotta do your research. You gotta be very observant. You got, women are naturally cle more clever than men when it comes to thinking, okay? Um, it's just a natural gift that we're born with. And as you can see, a lot of women are always onto their man. They're always like two steps ahead. They always, they already know what's going on They're You know, it's just natural. So, um, keep that in mind when you're choosing a partner and, uh, make sure you go and research the characteristics of these types of men. So you know exactly what you're getting. Okay. All right, I'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Bye.